Now, as we all know, whenever it comes to add-ons of Bedrock Edition, they are a very big thing in the game. So right here, we have an option called Additional Modding Capability. Whenever you're trying to play with add-ons, you most likely have to activate one of these toggles, which are the experimental gameplay toggles. But right here, we have Additional Modding Capability. This has something to do with scripting. This is going to be removed apparently very, very soon. But it's not going to be too bad of a thing because we do have Game Test Framework which is kind of like scripting. So let's go ahead and move over to Minecraft.net where we have the article, which says, removing the additional modding capabilities slash script API experimental feature. JavaScript APIs launched in beta in 2018 and are expected to be removed. And so let's go and scroll down and look at the article a little bit more. It says in December, 2018, we introduced a new scripting API and capability for adding JavaScript to Minecraft world to implement gameplay and other experiences. This beta capability was only available on Windows 10 of Minecraft Bedrock Edition through the additional modding capabilities experiment. In early 2022, we are looking to wind down the additional modding capabilities and associated script API capability and remove it from future versions of Bedrock Edition. Over the coming weeks in Minecraft beta versions, we'll start to remove this functionality and we plan for it to no longer be available in Bedrock Edition in the March timeframe. Note that the separate script API capabilities in the Game Test Framework, they will not be impacted. So for everybody concerned about Game Test Framework, this toggle right here, it will not be removed. This will be staying in the game. So you still have some sense of scripting. What will happen to Minecraft worlds that are using the experimental scripting APIs and capability? In future versions of Bedrock Edition, scripts associated with additional modding capabilities, they will no longer run within Minecraft. And the additional modding capabilities flag will no longer be visible as an experiment you can add to new worlds. Worlds with the additional modding capabilities experiment will continue to load and run. Though because scripting included with those maps will no longer continue to function, gameplay and experiment facets of those maps will be impacted. If you have a map that already runs scripting, then those maps will still function. But just keep in mind that if you are playing on these maps, then you may run into some issues because of the JavaScript API being removed. But if it's something using Game Test Framework, then you're absolutely fine because Game Test Framework that is completely different from JavaScript API. Now right here, we're on the documentation site for add-ons on the fandom site. And if you scroll towards the bottom, then you will find two scripting examples. We have a mob arena demo and a turn-based demo. When you download these, they are gonna be in a zip file. So you're gonna have to rename the .zip extension to .mc add-on. And then you can just import them directly into the game. Now the first one we're gonna look at is the mob arena. The mob arena is just a map, so you shouldn't have any problems loading into it. But for other type of add-ons, some of them may not be so lucky. Because if it's using a behavior pack and that option is removed, then you cannot activate that behavior pack. So as long as it's a map, then it should work properly. Okay, okay, I'll kill the chicken. So when you first get into here, of course in this case, you can kill the chicken. But then it will give you a bunch of stuff when you kill the chicken. And you can start attacking the mobs. This one is actually one of my favorite examples. Like it's just really simple, but it's still really fun. Just having a bunch of mobs coming after you and you have to get points by killing the mobs. Like just something about this type of stuff. It's just really fun. And each wave is going to get harder as it goes on. So right now our current score is 40. But after a few seconds, we should be able to start the next round. All right, skeleton. Hey, you stopped shooting me. There we go, our score is now 85. Okay, okay, bath time is over. Hey, skeleton, stop shooting at me. You know what, two can play at that game. You know what, go away. Thank you, skeleton shot me in the butt. Hey, you, well, where'd you go? Where are you? Ah. Okay, I think the skeleton may have died. All right, all right, that's actually really good. But now we gotta deal with all these mobs. They're all shooting me in the butt and it really hurts. Oh, good, thank you, creeper. Thank you, creeper. Is there any more mobs? Oh, we've dealt with all the mobs. Like, it's just things like this that make scripting API just really fun. Oh, come on. Is that the best you can do, Minecraft? Oh, yep, yep, we're dead, we're dead. Oh, run, run. We're about to die, we're about to die. Try it, go. 
Okay, we decide. But this is just a really fun map and I like it quite a bit. I won't be able to show you the turn-based one because I couldn't get it working. I activated the behavior packs. I went and activated additional modding capabilities, but whenever I clicked on play, it just did not load properly. So this is what I was talking about earlier. If you're using an add-on that uses additional modding capabilities and that option is removed later down the road, then that add-on that uses that it is not going to work at all. I really wanted to make this video just to keep you guys all up to date on what was going on in the add-on community for Bedrock. And I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments or what you think of this. Did you ever get to play with the JavaScript API? And if you enjoyed today's video, then let me know by leaving a like on it. Subscribe if you're around here. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>